in this last episode of my Chinese New Year series. I'm going to show you how to make Penang Law Bark. Let's talk about the ingredients for the Law Bark. To make the Law Bark, I have about 250 to 300 grams of pork shoulder, water chestnuts, dried bean curd sheets, the French shallots, three of them, one egg, two tablespoons of tapioca starch, two teaspoons of five spice powder, one teaspoon of sugar. Now, I'm using cane sugar. You can always use white sugar. Half a teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of white pepper. Sauce that I'm gonna use, oyster sauce, sesame oil, and the Chinese cooking wine. It smells just like the Penang Law Bark. This is my Law Bark filling and marinated with the five spice powder. Now you have seen that I have only used half of the five spice powder, which I have in here. This is two teaspoons, but I only use one teaspoon. So you need to look and adjust accordingly, depending on how much you're gonna be making. So for this much, I believe one teaspoon is enough because five spice powder can be very strong and it can be very overpowering and you don't really want the loba to be too strong with the five spice powder just the right amount to get that beautiful aroma of the five spice so until then i'll see you tomorrow when i come back and i'm gonna marinate this in the fridge overnight The reason I marinate the pork in the fridge overnight is because when I make my pork filling for the law bark, I make it too late in the day and I have, I have other things to do. So that's the reason why I marinate in the fridge overnight. You don't have to do it overnight as long as you marinate your law bark filling at least one hour. So that way the aroma and the flavor is absorbed into the marinated pork before you make the law bark. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to prepare the bean curd sheets over here and I'm going to use this to wrap my law bark.
I've managed to make 11 pieces of loba from one bean curd sheet, but I still have a few pieces of the bean curd sheets that I have cut up and I put it in a takeaway container. I'm going to leave this in the fridge and I can use this another time. The other thing is that there is only two of us in the family. We're not going to eat 11 pieces of lobak today. So I'm going to freeze some of my lobak in a takeaway container. So it's probably better to freeze maybe two pieces and if you can fit three pieces, I'll put three pieces. And that way, when we want to snack lobak, I can remove one takeaway container at a time. This is the first time I have a go at making laobak myself at home in Melbourne. I do miss eating laobak back in Penang and I'm glad that I made the laobak myself here. As you can see, it does require a fair bit of work but it's not that difficult. The first three pieces that I have fried, I think they are a little bit too brown right here. But uh, the second batch, which I did, it turns out very nice. So now, loba can be served as whole. Does this look like a gold bar to you? <laughs> well, it is almost brown, brownish gold color. Um, so, and I have the two sauce that I made. One is the law and the other one is the chili sauce. So I'm going to dunk it in into the law and also with the chili sauce. It's not bad. Of course, the Penang street food will probably be better. It is a little bit greasy for me, but it's Chinese New Year, right? So um, anyway, I hope you like this video and if you do, Remember to subscribe and share with your friends and family. The last day of Chinese New Year, Chap Gome. Happy Chinese New Year. And may the year of the ox brings you lots of happiness, prosperity, and good fortune for the new year. Thanks for watching. My name is Victor Ku. See you next week.